And I think we both know what that are like. It's very hard to say. Maybe he would have finally decided to work for television and do a series on Napoleon. Because Napoleon was a great, great interest to him. Not the historical facts, because everybody knows this. There's no, there are no secrets about Napoleon. There's nothing new to be discovered about the facts. What interested him was that nothing has changed. That this brilliantly talented man was also a fool. And uh, he had nobody else to blame for his downfall but himself. And there he was, 26 battles won. He came from nowhere from Corsica. He made himself emperor of France. He was hugely successful, made France enormously rich. But the first thing he should have done, and should have been on his pad as to-do list, make peace with England. And he failed. And that was his downfall. And it's very, very interesting that, that Kubrick thought th this is what we have to focus on because that has been always a problem for all powerful figures, that they are not looking at their own Achilles heel. So I, I would have loved to, I mean, he had a script written which doesn't really reveal that, that was really a script to be a good read, but I would have loved him to do that for television, not forcing him to do it in two and a half to three hours, but take 10 hours, what's the difference? And right now, television actually start, uh, has begun with this long series, it could go into details. It doesn't matter how long it takes, six chapters, eight, 10 chapters, doesn't matter. And uh, I think that's a very positive development. Pauline is still in his grave, Pending. waiting, <laughs> waiting to be brought back to life. Absolutely, there is a chance. I mean, we, are, we, are, we, are hope, we hope it, it will happen. And, um, the archive he has is so enormous and it's so rich. Look, I have 17,000 photographs. I mean, there were copies of material pre-photography. Yeah, I mean, the, we have the slides, yeah? Mm. But we, we covered every museum, every book, every, every relative things, and it's very well organized. And an enormous research. And he, he really was a good student, and for two years he was working on Napoleon on the pre-production. It was very sad when it didn't happen. But MGM pulled out because, although we had already a, uh, an arra arrangement with the Ceausescu regime in Romania to do, we had the whole cavalry of Romania at that time, but then there was a Dina de Laurentiis film was, was greenlit and it, uh, you know, with George Steiger called Waterloo. It could have been a great film. I mean, you never know. I don't blame MGM for getting scared that Kubrick would then follow with sort of maybe a similar story. That's why they decided against it. Yeah. I wonder what Napoleon would think of Lou Wasserman and David Picker. Same. Whether he would like to have them passing judgment on his life.